G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I was really excited to share this video with you. Um, this is a video that I've been actually, I, I figured this out a few weeks ago and I just haven't had time to film it. Um, so apologies for that. But basically I have a PC and myself and my partner, we have a 5K iMac. That is a 20, I think, 16 or 2017 model iMac. Um, I'll leave the details for that maybe down below. But basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to use the iMac as a second screen. And on the Apple website, they say you just can't do it. Any Mac from I think 2012 onwards or 2015 onwards or something, um, as soon as they basically changed the design to that thin design, um, they were like, you can't do it anymore. Their, their technology is just like, we're shutting it down. You can't do it. You used to be able to, you used to be able to just plug in like a, a display port or a Thunderbolt port from the computer, from your Mac Pro, your PC into the iMac and it would work perfectly. But Apple said no longer. Um, and I haven't found any instructional videos online on, on how do you take advantage of your iMac as a second screen if you do want to use it as a second monitor. Um, so today I'm excited to share that I finally figured out a way to do it. Um, if you have a PC and you're in, that, you're in that unique scenario where you've got a PC with a monitor and you also have an iMac just sitting there and you want to use the iMac as a second screen. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video, find it useful and helpful and if you have any comments or queries or questions about this setup then make sure to leave them down below. Cheers! Alrighty, so before we begin this tutorial, just wanted to share with you some critical information before we begin. Um, so one of those key pieces of critical information would be that your iMac needs to be running Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. So in order to do this, you can follow along uh, the instructions on one of my prior videos on how to install Windows on a Mac using Boot Camp. But it is critical that you are running Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro as you can't do this within the Mac operating system itself. So it's a bit of a loophole um, in order to get this working. But uh, once you make the effort and you get it all working with Windows 10, um, then you'll be, I guess, in the right place for this tutorial to work perfectly for you. So. On the screen, what you see now is the iMac booted up in Windows 10, and we first need to make sure that we're connected to a network. So you can either have your computer connected via Ethernet or via Wi-Fi. Um, won't really matter, but in my uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it uh, with my computer connected to Ethernet. Um, the steps are the same though for Wi-Fi, so it shouldn't really matter. Um, just with Wi-Fi, you might notice the connection be maybe a little bit slower, um, so just take that into consideration. Once you've gone ahead and got your network set up, you want to go to the start menu and then click on settings and then click on system and then go down to where it says projecting to this PC on the left hand side. So once you're in there, you might get a message in red saying that this device might have trouble displaying your content because this hardware wasn't specifically designed for wireless projection. We're not doing wireless projection, but it thinks um, because it's doing it over a network that it may have issues. Um, you wanna make sure that the computer is available everywhere on your network. Um, you want to maybe ask it um, for permission only one time, not every time. Um, the pin forwarding, or sorry, pin for pairing is optional as well. And then give your computer a name as if you've got multiple computers in the house, it might get confusing on which computer is which. Um, so for my example, I've called it 5K iMac, so it's easily recognizable. So once you've done that, then the next step would be to switch over to the PC. Okay, so with the PC now, we need to make sure obviously that we're on the same network. So as you can see here, I've got it connected via ethernet as well. So it's connected um, directly back to the modem or switch. Uh, like I said though, you can do this on Wi-Fi, just your connection might be um, a bit slower if you do it that method. Um, once you've got it connected to your network, then what you need to do is go down to the action center in the bottom right hand corner and you should see a tile there called project. Click on project and then you have an option for connect to a wireless display. So once you click wireless display, uh, what will happen is the computer will search for any computers that you can project to and hopefully, if you've done it correctly, your iMac will show up as a option. So as you can see there, my 5K iMac showed up and all I need to do is click on that and then my screens will flicker or flash 
um, and then in the display settings you'll see that you have a second monitor now that you can configure. With my particular iMac, I needed to actually go ahead and manually set the resolution to the resolution that was uh, best for me. It might be different depending on your model, um, but as it's a 5K iMac, it wasn't uh, picking up that resolution straight away, so I had to manually set it. And I actually chose to set it to 2560 by 1440, as that would use the entire screen's aspect ratio. And if I chose any other setting, um, it would kind of put letterboxes around uh, the top and bottom or, or either side. And so now on the screen you can see I'm just demonstrating how to get the, you can see the screen is really um, using I guess the full aspect ratio, it's using that 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So once I change it to um, 2560 by 1440 everything looked um, much happier. So now hopefully if you follow those steps um, like I've shown you in the video uh, or follow the steps in the description down the bottom you should see what I'm seeing on the screen which is your PC and your Mac working together over the network and you can drag a window from one to the other so if you're working on uh, video editing or if you're a game streamer um, or any reason at all that you might need a second screen um, then this is a great alternative than running out and picking up a screen that you might have to pay for. You know, some people are like me and they do have a PC and an iMac next to each other um, in a small studio space, then, um, you know, hopefully this video helps you out. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully that made sense to you and hopefully you're feeling really happy and positive now that you can now go ahead and use your iMac as a second screen. Um, if you do have any questions or queries about my setup or about the configuration of how to get it all working, maybe I missed out a part of it, then make sure to leave that down below. Leave that question or query in the comments down below. Um, if you did like this video, then make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, leave a thumbs down. Um, hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.